We also share a commitment to our democratic values, such as protecting human rights. We regularly engage with our Indian partners on these shared values, and to that end, we're monitoring some recent concerning developments in India, including a rise in human rights abuses by some government, police, and prison officials. In addition to all of these critical issues, uh, I'm pleased that we're increasing cooperation in a number of other key areas, which we focused on today. On the, uh, uh, the uh, human rights issue, no, we did not discuss human rights uh, during this uh, meeting. This uh, meeting was uh, uh, primarily uh, focused on uh, all, mill, uh, all mill affairs, and I, I kind of gave you in some detail uh, what all uh, we, we raised. It, it is a subject which has come up in the past. I mean, it came up when uh, Secretary Blinken uh, came to India, uh, and I think if you uh, recall the press briefings after that. I was very open about the fact that uh, we had discussed it and uh, said what I had to say. So uh, let me uh, let me uh, put it to you this way, so that there's clarity about where we stand uh, on this matter. Look, uh, people are entitled to have views about us, but we are also equally entitled to have views about their views and about the interests and the lobbies and the vote banks which drive that. Uh, so uh, uh, whenever there is a discussion, I can tell you that uh, we will not uh, be reticent uh, about uh, speaking out. Uh, I would uh, also, uh, just so that I round off that point, uh, tell you that we also take uh, have views on other people's human rights situation, uh, including that of the United States. So we take up human rights uh, issues when they arise in this country, especially when they pertain to our community. Was there a specific ask from the Americans at any level, President Biden or your counterparts, uh, with regard to uh, mediating or passing on a message to uh, President Putin, because the Prime Minister has been in touch with him and President Zelensky? The second question is, um, at the uh, joint press interaction the other day, Secretary Blinken said that he had discussed human rights with you, human rights in India. Could you elaborate on those discussions and what was your response? Thank you. On, on the uh, first uh, uh, issue, uh, the mediation uh, asked a specific message. Uh, no, there was no uh, specific uh, message or, uh, uh, shall I say, communication uh, which was uh, suggested to us. Uh, that's not quite how uh, it works. I think what you are having at this point of time uh, uh, are uh, a set of countries who uh, who have relations, you know, who have relations with uh, all the parties concerned, uh, who have taken it. Because the Ukraine situation is something that worries everybody. Uh, and uh, and not just worries everybody, I mean, uh, it also has consequences for uh, most people. So there is a natural interest in the international community to say, okay, what can we do to help uh, ease the situation, hopefully sort out the situation. It's not something which is a new thought. It's been there, uh, in fact, uh, from February, it has been a persistent theme in the Prime Minister's uh, own engagement with both uh, President Putin and Zelensky. Uh, and uh, it's also been our policy uh, articulation. Uh, so, uh, I think, uh, to, you know, I, I would say our, our discussion with the Americans was more about, you know, what, how how is it we can all, or, or what is it we can all do to, uh, first of all, uh, encourage an early cessation of hostility. I mean, that's where we believe uh, that the focus should be. And uh, we do think a large part of the international community uh, and many other countries, some of whom have also taken very active interest, uh, think along uh, very similar lines. So uh, China's reason for supporting Russia is, is very different from why India is, is uh, you know, holding that stand on Russia. Uh, do you think that the Americans understand that clearly? And uh, what have they committed in terms of, you know, going forward and countering China, uh, especially, you know, in, in the, uh, in the India-China uh, front? 
I mean, if you're asking me, do the Americans uh, distinguish and differentiate between China and India? Uh, obviously, they do. So, uh, and if you are asking me, uh, how do we look at the uh, the uh, what is happening, the unfolding developments in Ukraine? You know, um, I had uh, Foreign Minister Wangi come to India uh, last month. Uh, and the point I made then, I reiterate to you, which is, you know, we shared our respective analysis of uh, what is happening. Uh, uh, I mean, clearly they had their view of it, we had our view of it. But what we did agree on, and I think we still agree on, is that, uh, the, that the way out is uh, dialogue and diplomacy, and that uh, uh, cessation of uh, hostilities would be a uh, very necessary first step.